Hi, everybody. This week, we talk about the why, the intention, and the vision for why you actually want to go do a nomad life. Stay tuned. Where are we? We are in Maine, in the, still in the USA, enjoying the summer here. And this week, we're talking about your vision and your goals and your big why for having a full-time adventure nomad life. Right. So uh, before we get started, we just want to say this is the second in we don't know how many episode <laughs> series of your, adventure, uh, your Nomad Adventure Starts Here. We're hoping to help all you nomads out there who are thinking about launching or curious about being a nomad, wondering what a nomad is, or if you're already a nomad, you can, hel you can help us out with all those folks who are thinking about launching their nomad life. So one of the important parts of really understanding what you're going to do in your nomad life is understanding your vision. But if you're new here, if this is your first time, I'm Chris, this is Steve, we're with Eat, Walk, Learn. We're a full-time traveling couple who sold everything back in May of 2021 and hit the road with our two carry-ons and a plan um, to go off and enjoy the world. So when we first started, uh, did we have a vision? I think we had a vision, but I don't know if our vision was the same. And I think that's one of the exciting things about this particular video and about this particular topic is as a couple, uh, we're going to have different ideas and we're going to have different goals and we're going to have different visions of what we think that nomad might life we're going to look like. What's, what's our full-time adventure uh, lifestyle going to be like? What are the things that we're going to do? What are the things that we want to do? Right. I mean, when we first ta started talking, I think I had a vision of we would have somehow have our own or rent or whatever four different places around the world and just travel among those four places uh, seasonally. I think you really didn't even really, you're like, oh, let's travel. Like, let's. Yeah. I mean, I, I kind of had this, this similar idea. Uh, we were living in Denver, Colorado. And, and if you know, Denver could have some cold winters. And I, I really didn't want to have, you know, experience snow, <laughs> five feet of snow anymore. So, so the idea of traveling is to let's go someplace warm and let's not have to worry about winter anymore. But it really didn't have that thought process yeah, of, of what that really meant. And we have lots of couple friends who uh, they, they really differ in what they see their nomad life looking like. We've got one friend who just wants to travel all the time, but her husband wants to live permanently in, a, in, a, in another country. So right now they're living that other country and she's trying to figure out how to get him to travel a little bit more. So, you know, everybody's got a little bit different interpretation of what a nomad life means and, and what it means to you. So you've really got to talk. I mean, I think our communication between the two of us has drastically improved because it just, you know, we all come into this conversation with these preconceived notions that we assume our partners know about, but it takes communication or it takes, you know, missing a flight or having something happen <laughs> in your travel to go, oh, maybe that's not what we were thinking about doing. So yeah. it takes a lot of chit-chat and a lot of reading articles and watching YouTube videos and asking your partner questions like, what is your idea of a perfect night stay? I mean, we, we actually had to write down, okay, it's a queen-size bed, it's a hot shower, it's a private bathroom, and it's a, it's a place with, our do with a door. So for some people, might, maybe, maybe your husband wants to camp and maybe... You know, I want to be in a five-star uh, luxury hotel. So you got to talk it out. Yeah, and you know, it, there's there's a lot of detail to that, and I think it's it's important to keep coming back to the big why. Why is it that we're doing a full-time uh, travel lifestyle? Um, for me, it's about adventure. It's about excitement. It's about um, experiences versus things. Um, being able to experience new cultures, new people. I hadn't done a lot of traveling uh, before we, we set out on our full-time adventure. So, you know, what it, really what's it like in, in Europe? Like, I knew what it was like in, in Paris, and I knew what it was like in London, but I didn't really know what it was like in places like, like Split Croatia or... Um, or uh, Hanya Crete. Hanya Crete. I mean, these or are the... Olympia, Greece, you know, right. yeah. These are the kind of places that, that are just magical and just uh, bring a lot of joy. For me, my why is I really like to see how things are done around the world. I mean, it's just, I, I, I think we grow up with an understanding of how things should be or how things should be done. And when you travel the world and you see that 
the bus stops are different and how they pick up trash is different and you know how what a kitchen means to some people or how food is cooked at a restaurant all of a sudden you realize that your way is not necessarily the right way or the wrong way it's just a different way and there's so many different ways to do things in the world for me it's given me a lot of patience and a lot of understanding and empathy for all kinds of ways to do things and for people around the world that I didn't have when we left yeah one of the things that I that I hear from our fellow nomads is uh, the opportunity to to give back, and I think that is something that's been an aha uh, for us as well is to be able to uh, go around the world and be able to volunteer and be able to share our experiences and, and share our knowledge in a way that's uh, that helps other people and you know other animals, if you will. I'm thinking about our week that we did uh, volunteering at the elephant rescue camp in Thailand, an amazing elephant rescue park. We want to make sure they go the right place. Yes. (laughs) Elephant rescue park in Thailand, just out of Chiang Mai. And we have a video about that. You can watch that up there. And, uh, it was an amazing experience and I really am looking forward to going back and doing that again. Yeah. And, um, sometimes volunteering is just as easy as, you know, helping somebody carry their groceries across the street. I remember we were in Italy and it was the classic example of a little old lady carrying a bag across the street. And I just went up to her and I said, can I help you? And, you know, I didn't speak Italian. I just I spoke, well, I spoke one journal or something <laughs> and helped her cross. And she just, you know, gave me a hug as, as I walked, as she went one way and I went the other. So it's just, you know, being compassionate and being empathetic and, you know, really trying to put your feet in other people's shoes and helping out wherever you can. You know, whether that's in the U.S. or around the world. Right. So. Uh, but, yes, uh, learn. We are eat, walk, learn. <laughs> and learn is a big part of what we do. And going around the world and learning about new cultures and learning new languages. You know, it's, is you know back to the why. Deal. You know, when you start understanding why geographical boundaries are where they are or why baguettes are a big deal in Vietnam and why, you know, uh, there's... A one t- type of Buddhism in Chiang Mai and another type of Buddhism in Vietnam. I mean, you, when you start understanding that, for me, that gets back to my why and I, my real why, which I've said in other places throughout my life, is if you get to know people and you get to know who they are, you don't bomb them. I mean, my why is trying to create world peace, and I'm trying to create world peace one person at a time. So it sounds like, it, you know, my Miss America speech, it's truly genuine. <laughs> if, I, if I get to know you and I know you as a person and not you as a government body, then, there's, then I love you and I want to know you and I want to be with you. And um, that's, there's nothing more peaceful than that, right? That's great. That's well said. Okay. So what is the first step to starting your nomad life? It's really easy and it's probably the hardest one. And that is... Put a date on the calendar. Go get your calendar right now. Pull up your phone. You know, if your husband or your spouse or whoever is next to you or you're traveling by yourself, open it up, pick a date. Now, you may know what your date is. For us, about five years out, we put, we knew that we were going to be leaving for our nomad life when our daughter retired, we graduated from high school. It also ended up simultaneously corresponding with Steve's retirement date. I don't know that we quite knew that at the time, but five years out, we knew in the, in the summer of 2021, we were heading out. At two years out, we actually put a solid, firm date on the calendar. That was June 1st, and by then, Steve was able to figure out his work situation. The finances worked out for that point. Our daughter had her graduation date. We knew exactly when we were going to leave. So... What is your date and what is keeping you from putting a date on the calendar? Huh. Good question, isn't it? What have we heard about not being able to put dates on it the calendar? It is a good question. You know, what I, what I love is that when we tell people, you know, what we're doing, that we're, that we're nomads, that we're full-time travelers, and they, they say, oh, my God, that's amazing. You, well, where's home base for you? Where, where do you live? And we're like, well, we don't live everywhere, anywhere. We've been traveling for two years. And they say... That's amazing. I want to live your life. <laughs> and Chris says, do you have a calendar? Put the date on the calendar of what it is that you're going to start living. <laughs> and all those obstacles life. you'll have to figure out overcome, how to overcome. And that's what we're going to talk about in this series. So go ahead and subscribe. And in this series, we'll help you overcome those, those obstacles. This, is, this series is how to start your nomad adventure. And we're going to help you give you all the skills and tricks 
to getting over those obstacles. See you next week.